Hello, good day. So again, this is uh, VA Eden, virtual assistant Eden. And today we're going to discuss about time trackers or time tracker. So I will share a free time tracker that you can use if you are working um, outside Upwork. Because in Upwork, um, we know that they have their own tracker, right? So if you are working directly with a client, um, your client might ask or might suggest um, for you to use a, a tracker. And I will share a tracker that I use personally for my direct clients. So this is um, called Hub Staff. This one, Hub Staff. Okay, so the first thing that you will do is, of course, you will sign up. Um, so just type Hub Staff uh, Free. So I suggest to specifically search for the hub staff free plan because if you will go directly to the website to the sign up form, it will ask you for a free trial and um, that is not the right one because afterwards, after a few, I think 14 days, yeah, after 14 days, it will be a paid um, plan. So let's see. Let's try to go to the website hubstaff.com. Here is what uh, this is the Hubstaff website. If you can see here, it's a free 14 day trial. If you click that, you can sign up, of course, for free. However, um, it is only a free trial for the um, premium plans. So we must go to, I think we can do it here as well. Click on pricing. Let's see. Pricing. Yeah, that's the right one. Okay. So yes, you can go to the Hubstaff website actually, and then just click here on the pricing. And then here are the plans. So if you will be um, clicking the free trial, this one here, uh, you will be signing up for a free trial for this plans. And afterwards, they will, um, you know, charge you for, for the plan or they will ask you to upgrade. And, uh, but here, this is the one that I'm using. Um, the only downside or the cons for using the free, of course, it's only limited. So it's only for one user. But the good thing is you can, you can use it for time tracking and it also gives uh, screenshots as well. So limited screenshots is okay. All right. So now, since you're on the pricing page, just click on continue here on the free plan. And this is only for one user. So basically, um, since it's for one user, it will be just one login. So I suggest um, if you are working with a direct client, let's say if, um, um, a direct client like, outside of work from Facebook, let's say, or Instagram, onlinejobs.ph. Um, if they ask for you to use a tracker, you can first create a Gmail account, a new Gmail, um, because you will be sharing these logins. If your client will ask you, of course, for the logins, then at least it's safe for you to provide that uh, email and password. So um, you can create your new email let's say for example client1 at gmail.com or whatever email um and then just sign up here just enter your full name your email and the password so once you create your account you will be able to check the um or create a project uh let me show you how it looks like Okay, so after you sign up, I suggest um, to download the desktop app. So just uh, go to, let's see, um, not here. Okay, maybe just type hub staff uh, app download. Yeah, just type that hub staff app download and then you can just click the link, I think, this one, the first one here. And from there, you'll be able to see the instructions on how you can 
download the application. So once you download the app, this is how, what it looks like. So let me sign in so you can see how it looks like there. Okay, so that is what it looks like. And you can um, move from project to project. So this first one is a pro project under one of my client and then the other one. So you can just start the tracker if you want, um, you know, to work for this client and then stop it. Of course, if you want to, to like, um, have a pee break or if you want to move to the other client, um, just click start. You can just start and pause. Okay. So, um, now going back to the dashboard, this is what it, it looks like inside Hubstaff once you're logged in. And what you need to do is just go to projects. So you can create projects from here. Just click this and then add a project. For example, um, project is, let's say, uh, Brook Haven Properties. Let's say that is your client. I don't put it here. Because um, I think this is for premium. It will ask you to sign up for the premium if you create clients. So what I do is I'll just um, um, create projects that are under my client's name or whatever it is. <laughs> so for example, I'll save that one. So this project is, is for Brookhaven Properties. So you can just put any name. But of course, it has to be a name that will remind you for whose client this project is. So this is for Brookhaven Properties. This one is Nashville because it's for a client from Nashville. So yeah, so after that you have two projects and then members, of course you will assign a member. So just click the edit this project members and then you add yourself, and then save. You add yourself as the manager because if you don't, then it will not uh, allow you to track it. Okay, so now we already have projects here and uh, on members, of course, you are the member. And invite, yeah, it says you cannot invite a new member. So yeah, it's only for one user. And you can um, put the rates here, how many hours it will be. So let's say $5 per hour. You can also rate it. Um, whatever the uh, the the hourly rate is, so let's keep it that way. That's going to be five dollars per hour, and um, what else? Now we can go to reports. Let's say you're going to send invoice to your client. Okay, what I do is go to reports and then click on time and activity. And then from there, click on the calendar right here. And let's say, uh, since it was a, I think it was last year since I used this, last used this, um, uh, what? This hub staff account. So let's say maybe I used this around October. Or January. Okay, let me try January. Let's say I'm going to invoice my client from January 1st to, oh no, let's say uh, Monday. So the work week starts at Monday and then ends, of course, Sunday. So Monday to Sunday. So let's say, let's try January 6th to January 12th. There. So January 6th to January 12th. Let me try if I work that time. There's done. Okay. I'm going to try to check um, when I use this so that okay there. So for example, this is a work week. <laughs> Just for example, this is a work week, okay? So you will select, of course, the uh the start, the time or the first the date that you started working for that work week. For example, Jen, uh, as I mentioned, for example, it, it's uh, Monday, October 7 until Sunday, October 13, and then just uh, up, click on apply, and then it will generate the actual um, spend. So it will be a total of $717.76, and then $143. Let me check the dates, okay? 
So it was December 2019. Oh, December 2019. Okay. Let me go to that work week. December, let's see. December 16 to December 22. Okay, so that's one whole week. December 16 to December 22, I will click on apply. And there. So this is the, the pay. Um, $205.20. That will be the um, weekly invoice. Uh, the total hours is 41 hours, two, second, uh, two minutes and 21 seconds. What I do here, how, how do I... Um, how do I send an invoice to a client? Of course, aside from uh, aside from sending an invoice through PayPal, I will export this. Okay, so I will export this to CSV and then save. Once you export that, it will um, generate an Excel file and that's it. This is the one. What I do here is I will just delete the unnecessary details. For example, this. I delete organization and time zone. So delete and then I delete the task ID, the task. I delete the activity. And I delete the, I think the, the notes is not necessary for me, but there are clients that might be asking for a note. So if you want, yeah, let's put notes there. And then let's say, um, since I only have one task for this client, this cold calling is not necessary for me. But if you're like a general VA or if you have other tasks aside from cold calling um, or if you have multiple tasks, um, you can just uh, write the notes or put notes here. For example, I was uh, updating spreadsheets like that. Okay. And whatever uh, your task is, let's say check emails, um, respond to emails. But of course, it must uh, be the actual task that you were doing by these hours. So it's seven hours. So you're checking emails for seven hours. <laughs> okay, but this is just for example. So now uh, I will edit my name. Sometimes I'll just put my first name, Eden, and then C. Or your full name, it doesn't matter. And then what I'll do is... Um, I will highlight the first line. I will highlight it in blue, uh, yellow, and then I'll make it bold. And from here to here, I will um, get the actual sum. So this is the sum. So just um, click here and then drag. And then you'll see the sum here, 41 hours, and then 2 minutes 21, which is the same as what you get here, right? So I will just um, type the total here, 4102.21. And then here, of course, is the total as well. So that's going to be 205.20, 205.20. And that's it. So let's say, calling. calling. Okay, so that is my invoice for that work week, okay? So I'll just make it shorter, Eden C. All right, so that's how I do an invoice. <clears throat> and then now I will, uh, I will just copy this and then insert it on my email. So I will, I will us usually say invoice. On the subject, I'll put invoice from the date let's say June 1 to June 7, and then on the, um, on the actual email, I'll say, um, hi, uh, client, this is uh, um, the updated invoice, or this is the invoice for this work week, and then I'll just paste this one so that they know how much um, they owe, <laughs> yeah, how much they owe you. And then aside from that, aside from that invoice uh, to their email, I also go to to PayPal and then I create a separate invoice there. So it's very easy. Just go to PayPal, go to invoicing and then create an invoice and you'll be, um, you'll be able to like, uh, just send an invoice to your client and they can just, um, click on pay on their, once they receive the notification on their phone, 
um about their your PayPal invoice. They just they have an option to just click on pay and then you know they can pay you immediately. So that will make it easier for them to pay you if you're using PayPal. And the um, other other ways that they can pay you is of course Payoneer. No, you know whatever you discussed um during the hiring process. So yeah, that's all. Um, <laughs> I think we made it the longer video, but um, that's all that I want to share today. And um, I think that's it. And by the way, oh, before ending this video, um, I did. Uh, post a comment on my video on my free virtual assistant training video that I was accepting internship. This is very limited only. It's a very limited time. Actually, um, the internship will end by, I think tonight or tomorrow. I'm not really sure tonight or maybe up tomorrow. I'm not sure. I have to double check, but it's very limited. And I actually ended up hiring two of my interns, and um, I'm very happy for for them it's actually just part-time so I was struggling yes last night don't know what to do because you know I have a lot of tasks and my head is like spinning I don't know what to do <laughs> with my skin so um, I decided to hire the t two of uh, the interns and um, yeah so they're working part-time right now and I'm just so happy that I was able to share an opportunity. And for those two girls, I'm really sorry if I emailed you in the middle of the night. But thank you so much for your effort last night. And thank you so much. I wish there are more, or I hope and I'm praying that there are going to be um, more projects, projects to come so that I can help more uh, aspiring BAs. And by the way, they are, I think they're newbie in this industry. So congratulations and that's this is really the end of the video thank you so much and you have a great day bye